fourth police officer and his wife have much to celebrate a year after a chase and shootout that left Matthew Pierce fighting for his life. His wife, Laura, has been right by his side through it all. Both of them join us in the studio this morning. So March 15th last year, I'm assuming your day started just like, like any other, huh? Yeah, about this time I was getting up to go to work and um, just another day at work for me. Yeah, in that chase and then shootout uh, with two men, you were hit by five bullets, uh, resulting in seven bullet holes, a collapsed lung, a punctured diaphragm, a shattered right femur, a broken jaw, damage to your liver, damage to your spleen, a nicked heart. I mean, it, it really is a miracle that you're here today. No, it absolutely is. There's, by every medical standard, I probably should have died. Yeah. They said, what, a 4% chance of survival, like, something like that? It was that? like 15 when they oh. talked to me, the doctor told me it was 15. That's really? what they would have given him the day that he was shot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Laura, when you got that call that every law enforcement spouse uh, fears, what, what went through your mind that day? Uh, complete denial. Like, oh, I think really? I remember telling, because um, even as I was watching the news, I was like not even thinking it could have been Matt. And um, when I talked to his friend and he told me, I was just, I remember saying, just don't lie to me. Stop lying to me. And so it was really hard. And then, you know, I had to sit there and wait for them to come and get me. So, and I just put my girls down for a nap. So they were asleep. I was literally by myself. Really? Alone, thankfully. And when did it set in? I mean, when, when you finally um, saw him for the I, first time, I think what was so. That like? Pro that's probably when it did. I even remember, like, in in the ride to the hospital, I was just thinking, how did I get here? Mm -hmm. Like, what is happening to my life right now? Yeah. And so, um, I think, yeah, when I saw him, and then of course, being a nurse, like, you almost have like a side of you that just kind of like kicks into a mode, right? Where you're like, okay, what's happening? What do we do? Um, what's the plan? What's yeah. the goal? And so you kind of focus on that and kind of helps you yeah. get away from the emotional Cope side. Of, a little yeah, bit, huh? yeah. Matt, Matt, do you remember anything after being shot? Uh, I remember everything up to landing at the hospital. And really? I, I, I'm told that I was conscious the whole time, but I think my body was going into such extreme shock that you're, you kind of start to, your body starts to forget things and starts pumping uh, much needed blood to vital organs at that point. Yeah. Uh, the, f uh, the, the two suspects uh, in, in this case, the father died, the, uh, the son still has to go on trial. H how mm -hmm. tough will that be when that time comes? Um, you know, it, I, I'm at peace with it. You know, I, I'm here and that, that's really all that matters. The, you yeah. know, the person that, that tried to kill me is, can't hurt anybody else. Mm -hmm. And that's really the ultimate goal for us. Um, I will be there every day of the trial. Um, you can I can guarantee you that. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I, I believe in the, the criminal justice system, and I think that uh, it'll it'll do what it needs to do. Yeah. On this Valentine's Day, I love this, Laura. You posted. Uh, let's show it here. A photo of Matt there on the left, and then also um, a photo of what I, I assume was probably his worst in the hospital. And you wrote, "For better, for worse, to love and to cherish until death parts us." Not yet, Matthew Pierce, I love you. I think that's so sweet, brings me to tears. How has this changed your relationship? Um, you know, I, I don't think we take just the little things for granted. Just being able to sit at home and watch TV together or, you know, spending time with our girls. Like, I, I feel like I cherish those, those little moments a lot more. Um, and in a lot of ways, our life hasn't changed. Like, we still bicker about <laughs> stupid things. Like, I tell them, like, stop talking, you're annoying me, you know, like, but it, it's like, in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm so glad he's still here to annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you still love him. And Matt, yeah. you posted um, something that recently brought me to tears. It was a photo of your two little girls right here. And you wrote, these two are the reason I told myself over and over, I will not die. I, I remember saying that. And I, I, I swore I said it out loud because I said it so loud in my head I thought it came out of my mouth um, but after reviewing the body camera footage it, it never did but uh, that was exactly what I told myself I was like I've got to go home I've got to see my girls I've got to see my wife I will not die I refuse to are you a different dad um I don't know you probably have to ask my kids that <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't think I'm as as probably heavy-handed as yeah. I used to be I think I've mellowed out a lot in a lot of ways um, I'm not vocally not nearly as loud as I used to be. Mm -hmm. um, I've just kind of mellowed out a lot. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, happy birthday to you. Your birthday was on Monday, <laughs> it right? Was, yeah. was celebrating this birthday a little different than, than others in the I past? I was just glad I got a 37th yeah. at this point. <laughs> yeah, we were in Florida, so that was kind of nice. Nice, to nice there. to see the community has uh, rallied around you. You're back, to, not fully back to work, right? I'm back full time, but I'm still working light duty. Okay, all right. And uh, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the uh, the, the service that you that You're you welcome. do for our community, and uh, thank you for your service as oh, well. Because yeah. I, I I know it takes a commitment from, yes. from the whole family yeah, when you have does. someone in the line of duty. So thank you both for being here today. I appreciate well, thank you. it. Thank you for we having us.